Okay, welcome back everyone. Now that we fully configured our routers, we did the administrative uh, configurations or the basic housekeeping, right? And then we did the interfaces. Now we did configure it differently on both routers. And uh, did we do? Yeah, we did the interfaces on this one. And then on this one, we actually did it in Notepad. We did both the administrative and the interfaces right on Notepad and paste it in there. So two ways that you can configure routers. But now that they're configured, uh, you'll be able from your computer, right, to either through the command prompt to Telnet or SSH into your router. Because that's the reality of it. The reality is that you're going to be sitting in your office, in your nice captain's chair, drinking a coffee. You'll get a call. Hey, can you please Telnet in? You'll Telnet in, right? Or your SSH in into your router. You're not going to be sitting inside the telecommunications closet, you know, doing it like that. You're going to be somewhere else and you're going to SSH in. So I'll show you how to do that. First, let's see if we have connectivity with our own gateway. So let's take it, let's do an IP config. Let's take it step by step. IP config space all, which you really know you don't have to, right? But here being the packet tracer, it wants you to do that space. You really don't have to. All right, and you see that you have your IPs. It likes my finger now. So you have the IPs and the gateways. So let's go ahead and ping the gateway. 192.168.1.254. And we have connectivity to the gateway, so we should be able to telnet. So let's tell net space 192.168.1.254. Username. Why is it asking us for a username? Because we created a username. If we wouldn't have done that login local, it would have not prompted us for a username. So LD is enter. Cisco, C-I-S-C-O, enter. Now we're in privilege mode. You see that we went straight to privilege mode. We didn't go to user mode. We went straight into privilege mode. Why is that? Because since we're using the local username and password, that username has level 15 privilege, administrative privilege. That way we can bypass that. So that is telnetting. But that is basic, that is um, plain text uh, that we went and it's not, it's not as secure as SSH. So let's exit out because we did do the command transport input as uh, all. So we're able to SSH as well. So we type SSH minus L to log in, username, LD is, and then the IP address 192.168.1.254. Password, Cisco. And now Again, I am in router one. So that is telnetting and SSHing, if you want, if that's even a word, right? But how we SSH into the router. And this is something that you do want to set up. And you will set it up on a username basis. So you will do login local. For your test, for your CCNA certification, they don't go that far. They'll ask you questions, you know, line con zero, password Cisco, login, that's fine. Uh, what is exec hyphen timeout? Zero minutes, zero seconds. That is what you need to know. All right. What is login synchronous? Again, so your typing will stay on the same line. It won't be interrupted. And when you're telnetting in, one of the things that they ask you is when you telnet, if you didn't configure telnet, you get an error message that states password required but none set. So if you're trying to telnet or SSH into a certain location, well, it'll probably, if you SSH, it will refuse by remote host. But if you, if you try to telnet in, you will uh, get that error, uh, error back. So basically, hey, you call, hey, you need to configure your telnet, it's giving me this error, meaning the other side has not configured the telnet lines. So that is the line of questioning that you're going to get on your examination for this particular you know type of configuration you're not going to have to configure ssh you're not going to have to configure telnet you're going to need to know that in order to configure telnet you need to do your line vty's and if you want to open up one or two telnet lines you don't have to do space zero space 15 you're going to do just one line vty one and you open one if you want 
the passwords to be encrypted, all those passwords at the bottom, like the username password or the passwords for the console, the line, the aux, you use that service password hyphen encryption. So things like that is what they're going to ask you on the examination. But at least for the real world, you'll know now how to telnet into a router or SSH into a router because there's your syntax right there. Okay. Next lesson, what we're going to get into is a bunch of show commands that you really need to understand and use that's going to help you look at your router and how to troubleshoot. I'll see you then.